Welcome to experiment 6, smoothed versus unsmoothed DC voltage. Connect the board as shown, so the alligator clip goes to the ground and the probe tip goes to test point 6, that is our DC output of our board. Also make sure that you flip the switch in the upright position, that is single phase rectification. And if all this has been performed correctly, then we can take a look at our oscilloscope screen. As you can see, there is a flat line which represents our DC voltage. On top of this DC voltage, there is some uh, AC remainder, and it is called ripple. So there's a small AC voltage that is riding on top of our DC voltage, and that makes it wobble. This AC voltage that is present is about 27.27 volts. Now, if we flip the switch to dual phase rectification, you see that immediately the line is much flatter and our display, our volts RMS display, displays only half the ripple voltage that we had originally. So as you can see a full a dual phase rectifier makes sure that we have a much smoother DC voltage. Now can we display this AC voltage that is riding on top of our uh, DC voltage? So can we display this ripple voltage? Yes, we can. We can just set our unit to AC coupling instead of DC coupling, so we only see the AC part of our signal, and there we display this ripple voltage. And then we get also a readout in the lower right hand corner. Now, if we flip it to dual phase rectification, we immediately see a different waveform. And we also see that our ripple voltage is, the RMS value of our ripple voltage is much lower. We can flip it back and forth to see this very clearly, as the auto setup of our scope takes care of every necessary setting.